Hello and welcome to another update video about Singularity Net AGIX. It is long term, not really a great chart, I have to say. It doesn't mean it has to be bearish, but this is a topic we discussed in Sunday's live stream. Coins that in 2021 or in any, you know, in their first, let's say, bull market, which was this one, where they rallied in three waves and we have a three wave rally. I mean, it's a corrective mess how, how this did move up. Yeah, and especially the fact that afterwards it dropped to new lows is just not reliable. I just have to say that as introduction to what I'm going to tell you, because um, what you need to understand if a coin rallies in three waves in a corrective pattern, um, it has a few possibilities. It could either reset the entire chart, which it did. Yeah, it came to new lows, which means I can't really use this for counting. I don't need it because we have a new low. We have a new all time low, which was struck here. I think it was in November um, of last year. So this makes basically cuts the whole chart history. No, it was earlier. Earlier wasn't it? It was July. Um, this cuts the whole chart history into something which is very, very short term. So basically, I can really only analyze this chart from July. And the fact that it made new lows is certainly not good for the coin long term. Now, again, it doesn't mean the chart has to be bearish, but it means it becomes unreliable. Now, for um, for reliable Elliott wave trading, this makes it extremely difficult. Yeah? That is why when we first talked about the AI coins in the um, in the member live stream a few weeks ago, before the rally started, I said, look, we have to use other things than Elliott Wave. Yeah, because Elliott Wave doesn't give us an edge here ne necessarily. So we looked at the time, I still have it on the chart here. We looked at the range breakout. Yeah, we looked at crossing moving averages. We looked at the range breakout, which was here, which I think was an amazing signal at the time. That's about the time when I bought it for the first time and then I started to scale up here and then I started to take profit somewhere here, only 25%, still have 75% running. And um, at the moment, I don't see a reason to take it out right at this moment, because first of all, I saw it long term. I still see it long term. We could realistically go to new all time highs. I think I did explain that in yesterday's video or that was the Fed video, the Fetch AI video. So, yeah, I mean, whatever Elliott wave I show you here, take it with a pinch of salt because we have a really, really um, short short um, price history. Yeah, that's important. Elliott wave charts are more reliable the longer the the price history is that I can use also to establish previous support resistances, FIP levels to measure and so on. And also the in terms of the new cycle, because in the end, you know, it started a new cycle in July. But that's it, you know, it's not I, I have no, you know, there is no previous wave one or anything. This is a new cycle. So what we have here, this could just be an AB with an with a long C wave, it could be a corrective pattern which will eventually crash down again. So these can easily come down like 80% again. Just warning you, yeah, just warning you. And that's why I took my initial investment out and took some more profits as well. You know, with taking 25% out is, it's quite decent. Now, um, however, I will, I will look at taking more profits when I see this rally is ending, but at the moment there is no sign. So from an Elliott Wave point of view, you know, I have a few ideas, um, but again, don't take it too, too seriously here with the Elliott Wave, can't see it more as an orientation but we take a look at some other methods as well. So we had here, um, in my opinion, a possible wave one. Again, always bear in mind, this could also be an ABC, which would eventually crash down because I only have three waves up. Yeah. Also in the bullish counter, I, I don't actually have a wave three finished. So we have either an ABC, which again can rally as long as the short term uptrend is going. And, uh, or we have a one, two, and then this is a wave three. Yeah, we have in the wave three, a one, two, three, four, five, possibly very long extension, um, which should then eventually, so uh, which should eventually peak in a third wave. Ideally, we then get a wave four. Now I did show you for illustration purposes here, the wave four target in the previous video, which could be, if we get into it, another point to scale up, provided we do hold this wave four which is not at the moment guaranteed yeah. because as I said, due to the short price history, this could also just be an ABC. Now I'm telling you that so that you know about the risk, that you know about the risk and that you don't think, right, you know what I'm going to do. It's really like, depending on when you bought in, um, if you bought when I bought for the first time somewhere down there, you know, it rallied like 500%. Um, you know what? It will definitely go up in a fifth wave. So I'm going to just stay in the trade. Again, yeah, I can only tell you what I think the chart is going to do. And I think it has a good chance to come back, but it needs to hold a fourth wave 
which should be between the 23.6 FIB and the 50% FIB. So between 31.8 and 46.5 cents. Um, or no, 46.8 cents. Now, if it comes back into that region and doesn't hold support, then we have a problem because then I have a three wave move up ABC and it will probably make, well, not necessarily a new low, but well, it could do it. Huh? It could do. So be aware. I mean, from an, um, from an Elliott wave point of view, what this could easily be, and that's why I warn you, this could be a wave one down, a wave two up in three waves, and we could rally down in the third wave. There will be a fourth and a fifth. Just saying, be aware of the risk, okay? So it's not clearly bullish, it's not clearly bearish long term. Short term, it's clearly bullish. Yeah, we have an amazing hype rally. And um, that's also why I wanted to get into this, but it's just not reliable long term, which is just everybody needs to be aware of that risk, okay? And there is nobody who can say it will definitely come down. It will. It all depends on is this wave four is going, you know, going to hold. And uh, then it comes down to, you know, in the very short term, is this rally already over? Well, at the moment, I see this as a wave five. And in the wave five, <clears throat> let me zoom in a bit. In the wave five, we had various extensions. So I can't really see see that here anymore as a one, two. And we had here the three, the four. That's so where I scaled up again. And then an extended five, which also has five waves. But I could also see this purely as another one, two setup, three, four, five. Yeah, that this finished of wave three. Here now a four, and we could get one more five. That makes sense because, um, so I didn't. I don't think we had anywhere the white wave four yet. This is all an extension of the fifth. So looking at this, the high consolidation, it would suggest we see a further rally. Um, but this is very heated. So understand that what I, whatever I tell you here is based on a current observation of the chart. When we have that rally and it could go to new all time highs and we take a look at that in a minute, it could easily just spike there and suddenly it's gonna, you know, a lot of profit takers come in and drive the price down. So you need to, when you're trading this actively, <laughs> you know, observe the chart all the time, honestly. Um, but yeah, you know, this could rally further and we're gonna talk about the target in a minute. What you can do is we, I think we have a pretty decent um, impulsive channel now here. So this impulsive channel Probably need to, normally you connect waves two and four. So if I do this, I have no clear low for the wave four, yeah? So be aware, but at the moment, um, this is sort of a, a decent channel that we could uh, draw here, which might actually become something more like a wedge pattern, but we'll see, you know, I currently leave it as a parallel channel. Um, you could even say, that we broke out of it, but now that's not really reliable. It looks more like maybe some kind of a of a wedge or something, but that's not entirely reliable here. It's more important, I think, is this this trend line. If that breaks, we could see a deeper retracement. Yeah, be aware of that as well. Now, again, shallow retracement at the moment, no sign we are breaking the trend line at this stage, which could send it still higher. So if we talk about targets for the next rally for the next wave up. I think we have to expect it could come down to that 66 cent level, you know, and then we are in all time high territory. And there is nothing really that I could use here on the chart to calculate now um, basically an all time high target because I cannot count this as a wave one. So to calculate um, basically, or no, normally I would use a wave one, yeah, and then a wave two, and then you calculate the extensions. Now we need to base it on maybe this rally here and then we talk about the FIB extensions but that's more as just you know just use it area as an orientation because here we could say you know we have now reached the 200 percent extension so basically we got rejected from there at around 60 cents okay so next targets obviously the previous all-time high at 67 cents then we've got a 2.618 extension at 74.7 the 300% extension at 83.3 and the 3.618 extension at 97. So it's interesting at this stage, is it going to reach a dollar? Yeah, <laughs> that's, I think that's the question. And um, yeah, what I can tell you at the moment, the trend is still up. You know, you can see it, the trend line is holding. We are far away now from these moving averages, which increases risk. 
downside risk because they can act as support. We've got FIB levels. The Even here in a way four, the move down can be quite a lot all the way down to 32 cents because of the extension here that we have. So, and that's what we need to see. At the moment, I see no sign the rally is stopping, but that can end rapidly. But also there is no divergence on the daily chart visible at this stage on the MACD. The RSI though shows a bearish divergence. So that's always a first warning that things could end. You often see that towards the end of a third wave. So if this is a third, hey, you know, that might be the fifth wave of the third in which we now are or get into. So we might see that fourth soon and another fifth. So that's sort of how I see it. But at the moment, there is no sign that fourth has started. It's my best view of what I can give to you at the moment here with regards to AGIX. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.